Messler level diagnostics. Messler level diagnostics are designed to identify problems that may not be detected by routine diagnostics. Now we all know that some vehicles have performance problems that are difficult to diagnose. Master level diagnostics will improve your shop efficiency and diagnostic accuracy so you can fix these hard to fix problems without wasting time. Let's use a case study to understand exactly how we do this. The case study is fairly simple. It's a 1999 Jeep 600 engine. It idles rough. We did the routine diagnostics. We looked at trouble codes and found there were no trouble codes present. We went and did a detailed analysis of scan data even to the point of looking at all the fuel memory cells in the fuel delivery system and could find nothing wrong. We're 15 to 20 minutes into diagnosing now and we don't have a good diagnostic direction at this point. Now's the time for advanced diagnostics. This is where we plug in to master level diagnostics. When you tried your normal routines, they haven't been successful, here's where you go. What we're going to do is we're going to use a lab scope with a vacuum pressure transducer at the tailpipe. At the tailpipe, we can measure pressure pulses as the cylinder goes through the exhaust cycles. Then we hook it to the intake manifold. At the intake manifold, we look at the vacuum, the vacuum pulses as we go through intake cycles, cylinder by cylinder. And finally, we can tee into the fuel rail with a separate adapter, and we can watch the pressure drop at the injectors. The objective of all of this is to arrive at a diagnosis as quickly as possible without long detailed tests that consumes too much time to be efficient. One of the problems a lot of the diagnostics we've seen is while they're very effective, they're time consuming and people are hesitant to use them. This is quick, easy, and is a five or 10 minute diagnostic. Master level diagnostics will identify the following areas. And again, let me preface, it's gonna identify these areas in five to 10 minutes. First, we're going to look at misfires caused by ignition and fuel, and we'll give you an idea when we look at the patterns and show you how to interpret them, which it is. Is it in a fuel-related problem or is it ignition-related problems? And then we're going to look at imbalanced fuel delivery caused by dirty injectors. And if need be, we can go and do an injector pressure drop while the engine's running. Running pressure drops is an absolute definitive test of every fuel injector. Valve train operation. We're going to map the valve train. What's the timing? And look at special things, particular things like cam lobe wear. Keep in mind, all these tests are done cylinder specific, including crankcase blow by for each cylinder. So these are a lot to accomplish in a very short time. Nothing here can be totally accomplished with scan data. We have to do something beyond it. So we're going to perform a vacuum waveform test on our example vehicle. We're going to look at the intake manifold vacuum. We're going to make a complete setup, connect in. It's going to take about five minutes at maximum, and we're testing. And what we're going to do, the waveform was analyzed and examined after we captured it. Let's see what we expect to see. We expect to see vacuum pulses. The vacuum will increase during each intake stroke by cylinder as the downward motion of the piston pulls air into the cylinder. What we expect out of this is we expect to see the same amount of vacuum increase drop in, vote in, in signal on each cylinder as we go through cycling. Let's go look at that signal and see what it looks like. Here's our testing. We've been cranking for about 15 seconds. We captured this pattern and we're analyzing it. Now there is a problem on cylinder number two. Cylinder two on the engine, we have the firing order going across the bottom. The intake vacuum is weak. Now what could take, make intake vacuum weak? A number of things. We're gonna show you how we go into an analysis and do some very detailed diagnostics. We see this is repeatable. It's a singular sin event. Single cylinder says it's not a blown head gasket. It's something specific to the cylinder. Could be a leaking exhaust valve or whatever. But we're going to show you how more diagnostics before we go anywhere else. Let's look at the timing. We've blown up that. What we have here is we have a series of points marked off here separated by 120 degrees. We expect on a, on a six cylinder engine to have an event every 120 degrees. And if you see, we've got some dotted lines here at those marker points. The middle one should max out, reach its peak at 240 degrees. It's reaching its peak before the apex at 240. So let's talk about the apex and look at that. 
On the right, you see the worn cam low. It's worn down. What happens when it's worn down is the waveform changes direction too soon. A worn cam lobe will have low lift and it will reach cam lobe apex, the maximum point of, of lift, sooner than it would a normal lobe. Look at it. We did the timing and showed it to you. So we have identified this and we'll talk more about this. But what we did, because it reached this point early, we knew we had a worn cam lobe. Now this is just one of many things we do in the CAM and one of many studies we do in this diagnostic program. We're going to teach you all the diagnostic routines. The master level diagnostics are diagnostic routines developed by Dr. Norman Nall and Bill Peak. They're proprietary. For we've spent the time to do them, and they're all available through this training program. You will diagnose faster and more accurately with this diagnostics and this program, and you will see for yourself why many technicians say this is the best diagnostic routine they've seen. We look forward to helping you improve your efficiency.